collection day two we're either going to buy all these cars or we're going to make a deal with him a whole bunch of cars to help him clear trees and stuff so today's episode let's see what i'm going to save because i'm trying to save as many of these cars as i can because if not by about december 5th december the first second week something like that all getting crushed okay so i'm gonna start off with this mustang It's a six, but that's all right. There was a couple of cars that I missed in the first video, a whole line actually. So I'm gonna go check those out. Some Mustang fenders. All these fenders. We're gonna try to buy all that from him actually. Let's see what he says. Definitely don't want to crush them all, especially everything in the barn. Like this one, we kind of peeked at it, but I didn't really get to see it. It's got its sides, flathead, it's two door. It's pretty complete. Roof ain't bad. I think it's like a 38, 39. Okay. I got one. It's the Mustang. Might get that Impala convertible. But we're going to keep walking. Go this way. several people out here walking today he's had this on marketplace for people to come out and try to buy something a few people's come out like i said everything's for sale so that's why we're out here Trying to save as much as I can, but can't save them all. So there's about six, seven hundred cars. So if I can make my deal with him, we'll basically help him cut 
and clear trees that are stuck in certain vehicles so he can get his money. Huh. Okay, so I'm gonna take a short little pause break every time I mark a vehicle. International Scout, it's a short bed. Still has the tailgate, that's cool. That's hard to find. Uh, got a bunch of junk in it. Well, that is the four door. It's a yellow one, and blue painted over. We call it the taxi cab. Said I've had an army and a navy one. This is, might be navy. Got a Barracuda. This is one of the earlier ones too. Probably. 66. She's a little rusty. The old Skyhawker. I was wondering about these old cars back here. I kind of walked around them last time. There's another Barracuda. Looks a little bit more complete. Than that one. Adrian came with me today. He's out there somewhere. A couple other people that just randomly showed up looking. Funky looking little old car, isn't it? Bunch of cool hood ornaments out here. Five window. Long bed. I'm gonna mark some cars that I know I want and then we'll randomly walk around and see what else we can find. The ones over 
there. I'll go to that next one. We'll go over here first. It's a Torino, but it's got way too many doors. That dodge. Looks like it's a short bed. A little crusty in the front. Maybe I can find a better one. Let's see. This one. Don't look too bad. Can't really tell the floor is all the leaves in it. Got a couple spots right there. But. Somebody put GC on it. Somebody out here cleaning already. cars on this last time let's see what we got Falcon Skylark <coughs> K5 Blazer Chevy long bed. All this nonsense. That's a short bed or not. Lincoln. Dodge. Ford truck.
past the edge. So we came in from up here. What do you think? I think it says it's a 74. I was thinking maybe it was a little bit. It says SS on the trunk painted, but maybe it's not worth it. 74 roof caved in about well, maybe a 70 come over here there's a 74 door we could take the bumper off of, the hood off of, the trunk lid off of, for this one right here. That's a 70. The Nova 2, that's a four door. Challenger 1. I know, right? Challenger 2. they would look like this uh, look at the vent tag again yeah it's a 70 the frame ain't bent roof ain't caved in and he's got fenders and hoods we got all that stuff right there so i guess let's mark this one we'll save this 70 chevelle out here in the woods On second thought, golly, didn't even look at this side of the car. Come look at it. Yeah, it's out of there. I thought it was just kind of the quarter. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that boy is side swiped. There's another four door Lincoln way over there. Man, these are popular. Missing the door. Quarters don't look too bad. Trim, everything's messed up. I think the other one over here looks nice. Rambler. Cutlass wagon. Six to Impala. Two door. The one Richard was gonna get, I guess he decided not to. It's pretty bad. Ford truck, no rear end, it's a long bed. It's another 58, but this is the more rattier one. And we marked that 58, that's right. Bunch of cars in the wood and the trees right here next to the fence. This was a short bed. If there's any short beds out here, then it'd be worth snagging. I don't know the 
with this car. Dynamic 88. Uh, let's just go down this way. Anything I can uh, resell to make money. Like this right here, you know. I already gave him a down payment on that last week. Came with the trailer today, so this is the one we're gonna come back here and get in a minute. If I can get to it, because he just plowed his field. And I don't have four by four. This thing have an engine in it. Yeah. But it's totally complete, not rusted. Yeah. Hard to find out here. Uh, Ranchero. Some people like them, I guess. Shoebox, Shoebox Ford. Shoebox Fords are cool, but not that one. There's another one. Yeah. I've got one that drives. I like the style sides more than the step sides. But there ain't nothing wrong with the step side. Yeah, I like the style side. Yeah, I don't like There's one right here to mark. Somewhere right in here. This little Japanese Toyota Celica. There's a Vega. It's a two door. Is it Caprice or Biscayne? I don't know how solid it really is, but it's a two door. I think this Celica is worth saving. That's what that kid wants. Just for the parts, maybe. I mean, the hood's gone. I don't think it's really worth it. No guys say, no, nah, it's worth it. I don't know, we'll think about it before that day, which is coming up pretty quick. Let's see if I can't find that two door. It's over here somewhere. I don't remember in this way. That guy over there with a whole bunch of Camaros, GTOs. Really? Yeah. Uh, we went to it a couple of weeks ago. I was like, man, you look familiar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's got a dozen of them. Really? Builders, maybe one or two. There's a 68 over there. It's pretty straight and solid. No engine, though. Really? And it'd be a builder. I think he'd probably do it maybe. Probably worth what they're worth. 1,200, 2,000. No, he doesn't. He's, he'd give you a good deal. <laughs> if it was me, I'd want six grand for it. Yeah. Because uh, I've sold some of them. So I'm looking for a car. I don't remember where it is. That duster over there might be the nicest duster in the whole place. The green one. That's not what I'm looking for. Here's another one. Where is that car? Make sure he ain't snagged it yet. See, he already snagged the Chevelle. He rode on the top of it. First come, first serve. Where is that car? Yeah. I 
this for is right here. Now I'm lost. I'm gonna keep going this way, we'll find it. There are some other Chevelles, but we need to mark this car before anybody else find it. This Buick over here. Before they find it, and we need to mark the Charger before they find it. Charger's gonna be up closer to there, I think. But this is the car we're marking this special right here. So hook it on on the bumper or something. Let's string it all over this car. We're gonna string it all over this car. Oh yeah, it's a cool looking Buick. Uh, now, there's a GMC. That's somebody interested in GMC pickups. Only the tri though. Chargers over there. I think this is a Le Mans or a Tempest. I thought it was a GTO. It's not. Mustang. It's trashed. There's the Charger over there. Looks like the B. and the other Lincoln. Cadillac Eldorado wagon. Here's the uh, Continental. <clears throat> I think we should mark and keep maybe, what do you think? Ain't missing nothing complete. Mark it. And then we're gonna mark this one. The charger. Another Lincoln four door. Trunk lid ain't no good. The back bumper is though. The roof's right and Doors right. And Does it even have an engine? By the way. Yeah, it's got an engine in it. Another way bumper. That's one ready Mopar. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't think you could part it. I mean, you might, but doors rotted, fenders no good. The roof. I don't know if it's worth saving all of this. Is a bump, the bumpers front and back. And then maybe the seat frames. I don't know. Sixty one Bel Air, the Cadillac Fleetwood. Uh there's another Chevelle right here. Maybe we'll get at least one Chevelle, huh? Right yeah. It is nineteen seventy. That's good. That's the best one. See, it says 7 0 on it. Roof ain't bad. Needs a back bumper. It's 
Got a rear end in it, that's good. Still got all the seats. Got the key, maybe we can crank it up. Ah, the dash is missing, but you still got that tag. So the dash bin is nowhere to be seen. That means that VIN might be on the road somewhere registered. You know what I mean? So, does that mean it's worth it? Or should we just let it get crushed? That's hard to say. 70 Chevelle. No VIN, no dash. It's got a Van right there on the cow, but if somebody took the van to use for their car, then they're no use. All right, this evening. Short bed, isn't it? Am I tripping? It's Apache. Kind of beat up. That cool stuff written on the door. Cab's all rotten. That is a short bed, isn't it? But the truck's all rotten. Anything is rebuildable, but it's about the only short bed I've ever seen out here. On Ventura, some Vega wagons. Over here somewhere is a uh, oh, the yellow thing is the uh, one of that yellow thing we saw on the side of the road one time. Sixty six and Paula. There's a sixty six and Paula, but man, it ain't no good. I need to mosey back up to the front or Oldsmobile Cutlass. Yeah, he said he'd been here. Probably need to go back towards the front, look for that Bel Air, because I know it ain't out here. Sixty-one. 
Oldsmobile. It's the only Firebird out here. It's trash. So we got a 58, a 59, Ranchero. This is a short bed step side Chevy. I'm talking about this green one over here. The short bed step side. Patchy 10. Roof don't look bad. Look at the other side. Back on to the front. Buick Roadmaster. Well, there's a lot of cars out here in the P. A lot of it just needs to be crushed on it. Well, that's sad to say. We hate to see classic cars get crushed. This man's about his money. And I mean, that's why there's people out here trying to save what they can. Just like us, because we're trying to save what we can. We got like six, seven cars marked so far. That Buick, can't forget about the Buick. And the Lincoln. Get up here, maybe ride it down. And if I got to walk around with him and show him this one, this one, this one, this one, and then the one in the back. The only Camaro. Out of there. That's your baby right there. <laughs> Not, oh yeah, it's torn off. Where is that one car I'm looking for? So I hope I can find it. It's not took already. Maybe I'm tripping and it's that four door right there. That four door? Yeah. I think that's what I was looking for. Thought it was a two door. And there's a couple of gremlins out here. Lots of hoods, fenders. I don't know what that is. These. Wrap your thing. Does that bumper go to this? Looks like it does. Wrap your thing on there. And over all these to the Super B. Because me and Steven were talking about it. I'm gonna keep one or two of them. He's gonna take the other ones and try to get the lights to work in them and paint them up and have wall hangers. We got a uh, Ventura. That looks kind of like a road runner in it back in. 69 Charger, got a Malibu, and a Super B. Super B is kind of bent and smashed, but oh well, I guess, short art. The top one's trash, but okay, that's fine. <laughs> If 
but you can get the lights for this and the bumper maybe a trunk lid have some uh stick it up on top of the shop i'm thinking that'll be cool Holy 17 Datsun. Oh, she's a little rusty. It's a, it's a cool year model, cool body style. I think we're going to pass on it. She's a little crusty. It's got a good hood on it, though. Yeah, that's a good one right there, no? Maybe find a different hood. I think it's short bed too, so I mean, that's what you want. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a short bed. I'm sure you can find another hood out here, maybe. Other than that, it don't look too bad. Maybe a fender, hood and a fender. Yeah, that's pretty straight. Maybe a door if you had to, but you can probably pull that door out. That's not a bad one right there, man. There's a whole bunch of them back over there, but they're all missing like the front clip or they got rusty bad. All right. Yeah, if you're going to get one, make sure it's a short bed too. I mean. I saw you mark that crew cab international up there. Yeah, I've had two of those before. Yeah, I've come and swapped one. Put it on uh, one-ton axles before. Did you? Yeah. That's cool. That's a cool international. And there's another one out in the field that's even better condition than this one single cab yeah did you see it a lot of 60 chevys it's another gremlin yeah this one isn't smashed it's missing stuff be a good little solid body though yeah. racing <laughs> there's some good stuff here it's just it's gonna be over here it's just all hit and miss. It is hit and miss. There's a lot of junk yeah. mixed in with some cool yeah, stuff. Yeah. There it is. Pacer. The Pacer. There's some on that. <clears throat> really? There's the international pickup on some of it. Top's a little smashed, but. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Done a bunch of them. <laughs> it ain't that hard. I still don't know if this Mustang's worth saving. Ain't got no VIN, no dash. Nope, ain't worth saving. Nope, there's the dash right there. There's the VIN. Sure. Okay. So what do you think? You want a Mustang Fastback? You should show him pictures of yours. It's a nice car. Yeah, nice <laughs> yeah, his runs and drives. It's black on black. He just needs his front clip. The uh, the frame up here is a little rotted, but I think it's a unibody. 
a little bit of cancer down there in the frame. A little bit. Yeah, it really just needs a front clip. Huh? Needs a front clip. I mean, since it's got the uh, VIN, it's it's worth saving. But if we ain't doing that deal, then we're not picking any more cars, really. That barn over there is full of parts. That one over there is full of parts. What about this Ford truck? Yeah, this would be a cool hot rod. Mm -hmm. There's a Monte Carlo. No, this thing. Or an 88. There's yeah, right. a Triumph. Uh, huh. I used to have a little Triumph. What does Maverick for? Anything? Not really. And it's weight and crush. <laughs> like this is weight and crush. This might be worth something to somebody. That's kind of right. Carvel. Yeah, you could probably resell that one. This truck you could resell. International. There's several internationals that ain't too bad out here. Might be a couple a little better than that one. But. The tarp on it's a barracuda. Do what? It's a barracuda with the tarp on it. Yeah, it's an early model barracuda. There's a Super Sport 66. See? Super Sport 66. The roof on that boy is completely gone. It's a 54, 53-54. And then all those parts in there, all these engines. I'm just gonna look around, see if maybe I found a Hemi, old school Hemi. Those are worth money. And all these parts. There's actually, you see the steering wheel? Yeah. There's a Model A frame in here for a 36 Ford. Huh. Really? And you can see the one door, the other door I think's in that barn over there. Oh, yeah, but there's just, Bunch of stacked dry parts in here. That's 68 Camaro, that's 68 Camaro, that's 57 Bel Air. There's a Nova trunk lid. There's Chevelle hood, Chevelle fenders, there's Bel Air fenders. Everything in there is desirable parts. It'd be worth just buying all the parts out of there and swap meeting them. Little gray car right there. So this, this, that ain't no Chevy Nova, is it?
Another more. Dad's bringing it over. Now go straight. Now if we could undo it and just go straight. Yeah. That should work. Oh yeah. Got to rip out the hole. Let me do the neutral thing and we're gonna suck it up. Well, we're still trying to load this thing. Trying to get it to move over on the trailer a little bit. Other than that, I don't guess we're gonna do a deal for cars. Honestly, there's not enough stuff out here to even pick 30 cars. So we just picked out a few more we'll probably buy. Uh, that's it. So we picked out a couple more things out here. We'll be back. I think he's about to start crushing in December. If anybody needs anything, let me know. I'll get you in contact with Matt. Until next time, hit that like. Give me a subscribe if you haven't already. A lot more yards and a lot more cars still to save. Appreciate it.